What's cracking, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. New video. Video. People are always writing video on there. Today. Today is day three of Wes Watson, but I'm not going to go back to the No Jumper interview. Um, and this should be the wrap-up of the Wes Watson stuff, at least for this week. Hopefully, Adam has him back on his channel and guaranteed to have uh, more to react to, more to laugh at, and just have a good time, right? <clears throat> this one is more along the lines of this. By far, by far, the, um, the comments have been people were enjoying it, right? And had fun and... Um, there were also those that said, hey, you know, I'm, I'm going through some stuff, so I needed these laughs, which is cool. That's what it's all about, right? Now, there are those very, very few, 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 few that are like, you hating on Wes. And I ain't going to lie. I, I, I blocked those ones because I was like, they don't get what I was doing. And they're just here to woof. So um, I'll help them get away from my content. Oh, hold on. My chair's a little bit too high. There we go. Now, <clears throat> there are people, there was one comment, I think, where someone said, I thought you don't like drama and you don't want to beef with other channels. I don't like drama and I don't beef with other channels. This isn't beefing with Wes. Um, but I thought about it and I said, hmm, that is a tricky thing to answer, though, if I'm asked that question on why do I go at west right first of all reaction videos are fun man west watson reaction videos are the most fun because there's so much bullshit in it right now i've said this over and over i believe it to be true and so let me say it again i believe that when west was in the dorms and looking at IG like he always says he was looking at IG. I believe he created a character. Scratch that. He created a caricature, right? And people have tried to correct me on that. Look up the word caricature. It's not character. It's caricature, right? And you'll see it's an extreme version of a character. So... <coughs> <coughs> Where did that come from? Anyhow, I believe that he, while he was in prison, came up with a genius, an evil genius plot. He was scrolling through YouTube. He was scrolling through the internet. And he saw what a lot of people see. There's no... Um, let me turn this down a little bit. Well, no, it looks all right. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But he saw what a lot of people see, what a lot of white people see. There isn't that, that white representation in the genre of a bad motherfucker. That white dude that's just a bad motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like, I'll give you an example. You have um, Joey from Free From Frederick's Grove. He's humble. You have Splinter from Prison Point of View. He's humble. You know, Splinter, Splinter have you busting up. Um, Joey, you know, these dudes don't... Um, they carry themselves the way white men carry themselves in prison. I'll, I'll put it like that. Wes, on the other hand, created a caricature to be that white hero of the criminal world. I mean, I, I don't know how to say it, but hopefully you understand what I'm saying, right? I righteously, who's this? I righteously believe that Wes does not give a damn when any of us react because he's the evil genius. All publicity is good publicity. See, you know, there's that thing, stolen valor, and you always, it's always attributed to military, 
right? Stolen valor. And then people like try to clown us like, oh, look at these these ex-convict scumbags trying to claim stolen valor. And, and, and You know, when you're manipulating the masses um, with fake stories, but people on the inside, because you're using their names, people on the inside are being affected, you know, um, that is, is not cool and that should be pointed out. And um, Splinter on Prison Point of View did that with uh, one of Wes Watson's videos, what he did where it, it negatively, negative, negatively impacted a white convict and, and still, still incarcerated. You know, and I've told stories how <clears throat> if, you, if you, you know, where, where Wes has told stories about, you know, there was one, this dude, and I'm not going to say his name. He does, though. He has no problem saying it, that the guy was using drugs in prison and that he was all twacked out and, you know. That can destroy that man's family, his relationships with his family on the streets. These are the things that people don't get. If you have a story and the story is impactful as an ex-convict, you have a story that you want to you want to um, get out there to make an impact on someone's life, to get them to think of doing other things other than what we did and following in our footsteps, that's excellent. That's commendable. But you don't need to, if you want to use a person's name, don't use his, his where he's from. Or if you want to use where he's from, don't use his name. Right? It, that way you don't have the potential of getting that person in trouble or breaking up any relationships that there, because there's dudes that, you know, they, they maybe like, like a, for an example, a, a dude that's an alcoholic, and he went to prison because of an alcoholic, alcohol-infused incident, right? And he's telling his family, I'm done with drinking. I'll never drink again. I've been going to AA in here, this and this and that. He's telling the, his family what he's got to tell them in order to keep his relationship. When he hangs up that phone, he might go back to his cell and drink a batch of fucking wine. He might still be a full-blown alcoholic. But it isn't for me to come out here and tell a story about the, the drunk in, in, in the pot. <clears throat> right? <clears throat> if I do, for me to tell the story about the drunk in the pot, you know, is one thing. But to name him is, is, is very detrimental. So that's where the, 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 you know, where the thing comes in where people are like, you know, oh, they're complaining about stolen valor. It isn't because we want to seem tougher or anything like that, man. It's. Wanting to have a positive impact on people is one thing, but throwing somebody under the bus to do it and making money off of it, I think that's that's too many um, wrongs for anything to be right about that, right? So there's that. And, you know, when I heard, um, and th this is probably the biggest reason why I, I decided, you know, we're going to do day three of this. When I heard him talking about mental health issues are all made up. And basically the cure for all of them is to just send somebody to prison, basically, right? Send them to prison where it's not allowed. You're not allowed to feel those things. <clears throat> and you'll be cured. I think that's extremely dangerous. And if there are people that are suffering from certain things mentally and they think i mean they're already borderline nuts you know no disrespect but they're already borderline nuts and that final that final straw may be well man i do have a lot of money how about i invest twenty thousand dollars in wes and he'll cure me of all these these thoughts and, and, and these these feelings and after that 20,000 is gone, and maybe they have another five, 6,000, 10,000 saved up. Obviously, this isn't a rich person. When I said, you know, somebody has money, this person doesn't. I'm trying to get to a point here. And so this person says, back, I, I, you know, I, some days I feel okay. I feel what he's saying. Well, you would have felt that even without talking to him. There's ebb and flow, right? And you, you, you have, you know, your last 10,000 or 16,000, whatever it is, and you pour that into the program. And then you start realizing you have no more money. 
You have bills piling up. Your issues haven't resolved. What do you think happens to that person? And that's scary. Especially if it's, especially if it's someone who's older and, and maybe lives in a different state from their family or is estranged from their family. And so they don't have somebody in their life to see the deterioration, um, the mental deterioration, the financial ruin that they're caught up in. Because they're, they're, they're believing this caricature that, that can't even be honest with how much time they did. Like, no disrespect to anybody that did 10 years. I did 24 years. And 10 years is a long time. But to a lot of us that did way more than that, it really isn't. And I know that might seem... <coughs> a little bit disrespectful and it's not intended to be that but so if this individual did eight years why the need to say 10 and it was like when he said he got a that that the a1 offense he caught was a 14 month shoe and i corrected no no the your first offense is going to be 15 months and somebody corrected that and, it, and yeah somebody pointed out that i corrected that and like how petty can you be petty enough to where I know what it really is because I really caught my first one and then I caught a second one and then a third like I caught shoe terms I went to the shoe several times four times to be exact right and um I went to Pelican Bay four times Pelican Bay shoe and so I know what you get on your first offense and I know how it gets aggravated never seen them get mitigated because they, there's a mitigating factor supposedly nobody has ever had them I don't think but I think it's important, and it's just important as when somebody says they did 10 years when they didn't do 10 years. What it, like, in their mind, apparently 10 years is, is um, a milestone where, like I said, and I've said this a lot, you can go to prison and be there one day and wind up catching a body because something happened. So anytime you're behind the wall, it's extre extremely dangerous. It's no joke in there. Um, you know, I don't, there, there's nobody else in this genre. See, he's not, he's not part of the prison genre, right? It's, it's such a trip how it's, it's done. He hasn't been placed in the box, but every one of his videos is titled prison gangs and then something else, right? But somehow, some way he has avoided the stigma he has avoided, avoided the box and the shadow bands that the rest of us deal with. But out of all of us that are in the genre, and he is part of it, I don't, hear, I don't ever hear anybody um, embellishing. And, and, you know, some of us don't get along. We don't like each other, but that's not for YouTube. That's not for YouTube consumption. And, and even knowing that, I can't say off the top of my head that any anyone else in the genre is embellishing stories in order to get over on people with with bad intentions, I should say. Um, and I think everybody in the genre can agree that um, that's what's being done uh, when it comes to Wes. Is Wes entertaining? Absolutely. And I think we should all come to the understanding and, and acknowledge the fact that he's basically a WWE character, you know? Uh, and it cracks me up when people say, well, you and him, or, or you wouldn't say it to his face. Say what? I wouldn't say what to his face? That he's bullshitting? Why wouldn't I? Do I want to fight Wes? I don't want to fight nobody. Does Wes want to fight me? Wes don't want to fight nobody. He's a fucking multimillionaire. But it just cracks me up how, like... People are supposed to be afraid of another man. For what? And, and people are supposed to take this, the discussions, the words of YouTube, on YouTube to, oh, yeah, I, got, I really need to uh, engage in an act of violence against this person. <laughs> if that's the case, you're not going to be on YouTube long. You're going to be back in prison because I guarantee there's other people in your life that are really in your life that say and do worse to you 
or or in front of you and you're able to overlook it because you know it ain't worth it right so anyways i'll go ahead and bring this one to a close um i just wanted to point that out <clears throat> and i need you guys to let me know because you know these the, the last two videos got a lot of views a lot of positive reaction a lot of positive responses but i need you guys hey, if you guys see other videos that you think hey you should react to this get at me on my dms and ig send it to me um i enjoy reaction videos a lot man and my other channel the small channel i used to do reaction videos all the time and then they they hit me with that you know whatever they hit me with where i really can't react over there anymore that's why i did the west watson one over here and i did the part two here but um send them if i look at them and i see like hey we can have fun with this we're gonna definitely do that do i mean to be disrespectful when i do my reactions no i mean to be funny or if it's a serious one i mean to be serious right at the end of the day my intention is to have you guys enjoy the video and most importantly walk away with a positive thought or wanting to be better with that said, everybody, please be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them. All right? I'm out.